What is going on, everybody? Well, we're diving. Divers in the water, man. And they're trolling. So it's my buddy Matt, Mike, and myself. And we're hoping we can fill up one of those coolers with some mangrove snapper, maybe some hogfish, who knows what. But I haven't been out diving in a month. They haven't been out much at all in a month. So hoping we can make it happen today. We'll just see what the visibility's like and hopefully we can get you down and show you some cool stuff on the bottom. It looks good though. Look at, you can see his bubbles yeah. at 40 feet down. He's straight under the boat. He's probably marking it. Dude, he's down at like 90 already. Yeah, he don't waste no time. <laughs> he sinks like a rock. How's the viz? Pretty good. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at you, you son of a... <laughs> Holy cow. That is a stud. Good job. Let's get a tape on him. Nice female, too. Yeah. Let's go right to the fork. Dude, 23 and a half. Not bad, huh? Maybe I should have went down and checked the viz. Dude, that is a stud. Oh, yeah, man, that's a beautiful hog. In real life. He needs a dentist, but other than that, he's beautiful. He might need an eye doctor, too. <laughs> All right, well, Matt and I are dropping in here in a different spot, not far from where Mike just came up from. There's some uh, beautiful rainbow runners. I was actually thinking about shooting one, but then I see a big old... I believe this is, yeah, mangrove snapper. And uh, I figured, well, let's take a look around before we shoot anything. Look at these beautiful spade fish running right into me. So this was just a small ledge, and uh, we checked it out. I'm going to kind of fast forward here, and lo and behold, look what I see. A whole school of African pompano. I'm trying to catch up, put on a shot, and a little bit upset there. Rewind it here, and you can see I still have plenty of tether left, but it gets tight right there. The shaft never went all the way through. So we're heading up, and there wasn't a whole lot going on. The APs kind of took off. This is a pretty cool shot with the sun shining through. I'm finishing up my safety stop here. Matt is finishing his up, and you'll see in the background, I'm, I'm actually climbing in the boat right there. And look who comes up to visit. Don't mind the uh, pea stains in the water there. Uh, the water just went up a couple of degrees in temperature. We couldn't get away from them. They were all over the place. So we'll skip forward here as he's getting in the boat. Oh look, he's still down. Is he still down there? Yeah. He's Shark followed him up. Yeah, I shot the AP, man, and he took off and it popped right out. There's a shark under you. You heard him right. Shark. Look at where I have shark written and look at the shark underneath it. That's where Mike's going in. Now the shark's a little bit closer to the boat, right underneath the word shark. And again, he is just over my left shoulder. I'm watching him swim around. I'm turning the camera on as I'm dropping and I could just barely see him swimming away in the middle of the screen there. Again, this is a completely different spot. It just seems like we couldn't get away from him. Pretty cool shot of the boat. Some dropping down. 
Now, if you guys don't know, uh, I was able to get a new Koa, uh, courtesy of Gas Bars Dive Board. And our friends over there helped them out with some work on their house. And they gave me a brand new Koa. That's a beautiful, beautiful ARS, American Red Snapper. There was quite a few of them on this, this ledge. This is a real deep undercut ledge, so you can see like all the little holes that the uh, the snapper and this guy right here, nice little hogfish, coming out of the hole right now. But those holes, man, they hold the the, the snapper just love to go in and out, and you can see they're all right on top, going in and out of those holes. Another ARS and a smaller ARS right here. Look at these. There's some good size snappers. There's another little hog fish going underneath the ledge. You can actually see where this chunk of stone broke off the ledge. The fish just hollow it out and hollow it out, and finally they, it can't hang any longer and it snaps off. Looky here. Please, please, please be a good set of sunglasses. Nope. Gas station brand. Okay, I'm a little upset with myself. Let's rewind this here. The gun is pointed up. I'm not even looking at all those African pompano. I just see this massive mangrove snapper. And uh, wouldn't you know it, the shaft doesn't go all the way through again. Having some problems with the gun. It's funny I didn't see those AP until I was reviewing the footage and getting ready to make the video. Very frustrating. Now, I did see them again after I got that snapper on the stringer, but my gun was jammed up. What you got there, little buddy? <laughs> it's a spear gun that won't fire. Something's locked up on it. Somebody needs to go back down there though. I didn't even cover 50 foot of that legs. There. Hey, please. Lots of nice fish down there, but I can't get that shaft to come out. Let's see that gun. BB, I think. And then my spear gun quit working. Got to figure that out. It's all right, there's only diving two people at a time, so there's three guns on the boat. That's a good one. Hey, it's no hogfish though. No, no, it's, <laughs> it's not a hogfish. Thanks for pointing that out to everybody, Mike. You know what? I'm gonna take my personal best and go put it in the cooler. Hold on, what hogfish? This little baby thing you're calling a hogfish? It's shrunk in the cooler or something. <laughs> okay, Mike let me use his gun. Going back down with the same tank. So I don't have a lot of time. Matt came down with me. Look at these big old Goliaths. Nice mangrove. Like that roller gun, man. So now we're gonna switch over to Matt's camera because he gets a stud right here. you can see the dust trail now I'll fast forward look at the snapper coming from the ledge I'm screaming at him don't shoot it because it looked like a, a big ARS stones it full grown for sure now he's reloading 
and he sees something. That school of African pompano is back. Now it's starting to silt up pretty good on the bottom, so you can barely see them, but you can see the shadows of them coming. There they are. He takes a shot. I think he just fell short with his tether. I'm working my way around, watching the school. They circle back, they come behind me, and there they are. Trying to pick out the biggest one. In one eye and out the other. I like that roller gun, if I didn't mention that already. Little redemption there. I'm headed up. stringer through that wasn't hard to put through there for some reason what a beautiful fish not a monster but I was happy to have them Gun. He came back to life. If I soak this off, it was beating me up, man. Oh. He wasn't the biggest one, but he's a keeper. Right, you got yeah. The, yeah. Got some weight on him. Woo! Nice. Awesome. Oh, what a great dog. Short, but great. He shot a stud man, too. Nice. Here he comes. Stinking Kubera. <laughs> There's some big ones down there, boys. Yeah, that's a nice man, right? You there. ain't kidding, dude. Damn. Dude, you stoned him. Yeah. Perfect shot. That was awesome. Look at that, man. I bet he weighs three or four pounds. <laughs> Jeez, I'm deep. What you when I looked at him, I was like, dude, that's an ARS. And I looked at him, I was like, no. Dude, look at that. Heck yeah, brother. Nice look down. Nice look down. Where's that ruler at? Uh, right here. Right here by my DC. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let's see what your mang is. 26 and a half. That's awesome. Wow. I stoned this dude. Yeah. And then he came back to life and beat me up on my safety stop. We just ran into some pirates out here. <laughs> like this is the killing crew here. Where's the uh, where's the coa is giving you trouble? Right here. I think we're back in business, guys. Ran into the right people. Mr. Abbott, Mike Abbott, and Jason Bahari. And they said, pull that safety off, that'll work then. And that's what I did. So I got one tank left. I'm gonna go out and make this happen. Although Mike's gun was pretty sweet. Doing gun maintenance out here. <laughs> in the middle of the gulf. <laughs> that last spot was beautiful, but we weren't able to get a whole lot there, so. First AP on a spear. Lost one, got the other one, so. Psyched about that. But. We're gonna head back. Jeez, baby. Let's go clean some fish. AP first? Yeah, we can. How about that?
this guy right here though i'm telling you that's a trophy well you can't beat that look at the difference in size here i thought that was a good one he's like an inch or two bigger and he's like got way more shoulders on him it's crazy so matt and i are back at the house mike already took his his big uh hog fish and left i don't know i guess he was afraid i might steal some of it which i would have but let's knock this out he moved down from perry you said florida yep, perry florida so a lot of times you're super shallow up there no matter you go out to go out 40 miles to get to any water tell me about this knife you just got uh dexter dextream i think's what it's called um eight inch yeah i think it's an eight inch serrated blade oh, for cutting, so through, cutting through the yeah, bones. bones and all that stuff on one side wow i like it that's one thing that's nice about these guys is they got that soft skin i don't even skin them anymore leave the skin right on first fish is cutting is it really yep heck yeah there's a lot of connective tissue back there. I don't mess with that stuff. Get this meat. Oh yeah, that is sharp. Went right through the rib bone. Or the... <laughs> it's crazy. The bloodline on these things are like almost a brownish color. Go through the pin bones. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, there's the ribs. Not my prettiest work, but it'll do. Slippery son of a gun. Nice. That's a stud. PB, brother. That's right. I'm gonna try the backside yeah, of the blade. Yeah, he's never see. used this knife before, but they say that's really good for keeping your blade from getting dull. I can see how that definitely would work that way. Look at the shoulders on that thing. Dude, dude. no doubt. Tell you the AP for me, the hogfish for uh, Mike. We didn't get a lot of fish, but we got quality. And then Bahari, Jason Bahari, after we left them, he was looking at my spear gun and stuff. He went out and shot a black. It looked like they had three blacks. I don't know exactly the story. I'm waiting to hear, but leave it to him always busting them blacks i saw one black yesterday but he was on the move and i mean on the move i kept waiting for him to swim underneath the ledge and he didn't want nothing to do with it those pin bones man yep they're thick on this turn dude. that sucker around try it i'll be able to shot yeah those are like grouper bone yeah. pin bones that need that big there you go there it is so he does the same thing. He'll cut the bloodline out of these mangroves because they got a heavy bloodline. You don't want to freeze that stuff. Turns the meat brown, gives it a little more of a fishy taste if you freeze it. I'm going to eat mine fresh, so that's the best way to do it. If you freeze them, just take that bloodline out completely. On the half shell would be a good way to eat this fish too. If you don't even scale it or anything and just cook it scales down, Fantastic. There you go, brother. Get that moisture off of there. And you can see, I always talk about the bloodline on a mangrove. We're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna actually take some coarse salt. Put a little coat on top of them. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna stick this in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes to a half hour or so. And um, that salt 
it's going to draw some of that moisture out and it just allows the fish to be a little bit more durable in the pan. Pompano have amazing skin and to cook it with the skin on is actually kind of a treat. I'm gonna throw some soy sauce on here. You okay with wasabi? <laughs> um, yeah, my favorite. All right, you go first. That's a big piece. Yeah, big piece, <laughs> going down. <laughs> Taste it too. Big mm. piece. Oh. That's not even the hot stuff. Oh. Mm. Yes. What the hell? <laughs> what the heck, dude? That is so hot. Oh my word. That's so good. Oh, fire. I put way too much on there. Oh my gosh, look at my eyes. <laughs> this was sitting right next to the stuff that had like in bright red letters hot. Maybe it's cause it's, maybe it's cause it's, it's out of date by like six months. No, it's not. Good till next year. It's hotter the longer Which it sits on Which is even a bigger problem. It's good till next year. So good though. After, it is. After, after it the clears, burn goes away. Such you a, still I putting know. a big... That's so good. I'll do it off camera. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, have, Ben! You don't have to watch the pain. We got uh, sashimi in here. Yeah, I know you will. <laughs> I told you we had a fighting chance because he couldn't smell it cooked. Oh my gosh, wait till I cook that mangrove filet. Oh my goodness, is that good? It is, but that is so... So good. Mm. Alright, we'll do a little less. Fantastic. What well, the wasabi's not bad. What's your shirt say? <laughs> I may be wrong, but I doubt it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. There's some wasabi right there. It's not hot at all though. It isn't. That's like mm -hmm. it's weak. We we should have gotten the hot stuff. It's not hot at all. That's I, I'm gonna go back to the store actually because I'm gonna make more of this. I'm gonna get the hot stuff. Oh so man, good. that is so good. No, stop I think it. cutting that thinner was the way to go. Look at that. <laughs> what? Look at his eyes watering. It's pretty hot. He's like, I'm not sure. <laughs> Wow, oh, shoot. that actually, that's so good. That quarter inch thickness, it's so tender. It just melts in your mouth. Are you crying? No. <laughs> Look at your eyes. That's some, that's some good stuff. <laughs> oh, mom's over there losing it. I don't act like that. No, you definitely don't. You take <laughs> it like a man. Do those hot sauce challenges too much. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't even. Guess I'm the man of the house. <laughs> you are the man of the house. I think I just turned the woe man of the house. I. Oh, whoa. <laughs> we got some flour. I'm gonna throw some paprika in here. Doing a little ground cayenne, the red pepper. And then I'm just gonna stir this all up. Look at all the moisture on that plate. You can see how much that salt is drawing the moisture out. And that will firm that meat right up. I'm just gonna roll them around in this flour. <laughs> The seasoned flour. I'm gonna shake all the excess off. 
I'm gonna throw some breadcrumbs in here too. Some of this dill. I'm gonna cut it up too much. Something like that. Toss this all together. It'll go about three minutes or until it starts to get a nice brown color to it. Well, that'll be blackened just like the way you like your bacon, honey. That's your little dab of butter in there. Maybe we should not tell Ben <laughs> about this part. I can't believe you didn't smell this one. I'm not using no fork. I'm going. Oh my gosh. I like savage. Good. How so does steam good. come off that? How can you even do that? Oh my word. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you guys that dill hits it. Nice crunch. The batter really reminds me mushrooms. morel mushrooms Who knew she was gonna say totally it's called dominoes why for ben <laughs> i'm such a jerk oh my word did good as usual it's like <laughs> comfort food <laughs> that dill is sick it is good Really good. Anyways, you guys, we just want to say thank you so much for watching. And uh, also to our new friend, Matt, uh, awesome guy, military dude. First of all, I wanted to say thank you for your service, Matt. And can't wait to get out there again with you, brother. And I guess that's pretty much all we got. So until the next one, I guess we're out of here. Peace.